hello viewers and welcome to my channel and today's topic it, uh, is parasitic infection you know uh, but before starting this topic i would like to request you to like subscribe or share these videos you know to support this channel uh, and if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com now first of all what is parasitic infection you know you know the parasites are uh, uh, the organisms uh, that live off uh, other organisms or hosts to survive you know and uh, some parasites don't noticeably affect their hosts you know and uh, others grow reproduce and invade the like uh, organ systems uh, that make their host sick you know resulting in a parasitic infection and the parasitic infections are uh, they are a big problem uh, in tropical and the subtropical regions of the world you know and uh, malaria is one of the deadliest parasitic infections of the parasitic disease you know and the parasitic uh, infections can uh, uh, also occur in the first world you know and the common parasitic infections uh, are like uh, uh, trichomoniasis, you know, or uh, uh, cardiasis, or maybe cryptosporidiasis, you know, and uh, toxoplasmosis, you know. So these are the common types of the parasitic infections, you know. And the symptoms of the parasitic infections uh, vary depending on the origin. Uh, and the examples are like uh, uh, a trichomoniasis is uh, a sexually transmitted infection. And it's caused by a parasite that often uh, produces no symptoms. And in some cases, it may cause itching, it may cause redness, maybe it cause irri uh, like irritation, you know, and uh, an unusual discharge in your genital areas, you know. And uh, gardiasis may cause uh, like diarrhea, it may cause, cause bloating, it may cause uh, stomach upset, it may cause the greasy stools and dehydration, you know. And in the case of the uh, like a cryptosporidiosis, uh, uh, you know, uh, it may cause like uh, stomach cramps, uh, it may cause uh, stomach pain, it may cause nausea, vomiting, dehydration, weight loss, and fever, you know. And uh, toxoplasmosis may cause like uh, uh, flu-like symptoms, you know, and uh, including like swollen lymph nodes and uh, muscle aches and uh, pains that can last for over a month you know so these are the symptoms of uh, the most common types of the uh, parasitic infections you know uh, you know these infections can be caused by three types of organisms uh, protozoa uh, helminths and uh, ectoparasites you know now protozoa are the single cell organisms that can live and they can multiply inside your body and some infections caused by the protozoa include like uh, cardiasis you know and this is a serious infection uh, that you can contact from drinking water which is infected with this uh, parasite you know and uh, hell means they are the multicellular or the multicellular organisms that can live in or outside of your body you know and they are more commonly known as worms you know they include like flat worms like tap worms my uh, uh, thorny held worms and maybe round worms you know now ectoparasites are the multicellular organisms they live on or uh, feed off your skin they include some insects uh, like uh, uh, mosquitoes or maybe the uh, fleas or maybe the ticks and maybe the mites you know and the parasitic infections can be spread by a number of ways for example protozoa and the uh, helminths, you know, can be spread through contaminated water, food, waste, soil, and blood, you know. And uh, some can be passed through the sexual contact. And the, some parasites are spread by the insects that act as the, like, uh, vector or maybe the carrier of the disease, you know. And an example is, like, malaria is caused by the parasitic protozoa that are transmitted by the mosquitoes when they feed on the humans, you know. That's what are the risk factors, you know. Uh, you know, anyone can get this parasitic infection and uh, but some people are at greater risk uh, than the others you know and you are more likely to contract the parasitic infection if you are 
if you have compromised immune system uh, due to an illness like maybe organ transplant or maybe HIV or AIDS etc you know uh, live or you travel in tropical or the subtropical regions of the world and lack a clean supply of drinking water and swim in the lakes in the rivers in the ponds okay and work in the child care uh, this way you can contact the you know, uh, parasites you know and the outdoor cats can uh, come into contact with the infected you know, rodents and the birds you know so this makes uh, their owners more likely to contract the uh, these parasites you know so the next thing is how doctors diagnose well the parasitic infections can be diagnosed uh, by a number of ways like uh, the blood test uh, fecal examination uh, endoscopy or colonoscopy x-rays uh, mris ct scans and these scans can be used to check the signs of the lesions or the injury to the organs which are caused by the parasites you know and your doctor may also order the tests to check the for the bacteria or any other things that can cause the infection you know so just to rule out the parasitic infections now the next thing is the treatment options you know now your treatment plan will depend on how specific the diagnosis is you know, typically your doctor will prescribe the medications and uh, the example is like they may prescribe the medications to treat the like uh, trichomoniasis and uh, gardiasis and the cryptosporidiosis uh, you know they probably won't uh, prescribe the medications for the toxoplasmosis if you are not pregnant or otherwise healthy you know unless you have severe and prolonged infection you know so your doctor may also recommend like uh, other treatments to relieve the symptoms for example uh, many parasitic infections can cause diarrhea uh, which often leads to a dehydration you know so your doctor will likely encourage you to drink more fluids uh, to uh, control the dehydration you know and to keep the uh, balanced electrolytes you know in the body you know that is how to prevent you know well there are several steps that you can take to lower the risk of uh, contracting the parasitic infections like practice safe sex use condoms or the very methods wash your hands regularly especially after handling uncooked food or the feces you know and uh, cook the food to its recommended internal temperature drink clean water avoid swallowing water from lakes or streams and ponds you know avoid the cat litter and the feces when you are pregnant you know so this way you can decrease the risk of contracting the parasitic infections uh, Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Thank you. Goodbye.